Let's go over the ACCRINT accrued interest function, which is paid periodically, and the ACCRINTM accrued interest function, which is paid in a lump sum or at maturity. We will be using numbers, the numbers application on a Mac, and let's get started. The accurate function returns the accrued interest on a security that pays periodic interest. The amount returned is the total interest accrued since the issue date, not the amount accrued since the last coupon date. And you'll notice that the accurate and the accurate M functions are very similar. The difference, of course, is one's paid periodically and one is paid in a lump sum, and the input parameters are Basically the same, the lump sum has less parameters. The definition for the accurate M function calculates the total accrued interest added to the purchase price of a security and paid to the seller when the security pays interest only at maturity. So let's go over the input parameters needed to calculate the interest and <clears throat> We're going to go over the input parameters for the ACC RI and T function. And then if, if you want to do the lump sum, it's the same. You just have less parameters. So the first input parameter needed is the issue date, which is the date the security was originally issued. The first date, which is the date of the first interest payment to the investor. The settle date, which is the purchase date or the date you bought it, the annual interest rate, the par value, which is the face value or value when redeemed at maturity, the frequency, which is the number of payments per year, and that would be the number one for annual, number two for semi-annual, and number four for quarterly. And then we have the day's basis, which is a number between one and four, and this can change depending on a number of variables including but not limited to accounting rules the type of investment and the issuer so let's go over an example you'll see that you would choose a number between 0 and 4 based on the number of days in the month and or the year so for example Zero would be 30 days in a month, 360 days in a year, using the NASDM method. You would use the number one for actual days in the year, actual days in the month. You'd use the number two for actual 360, so actual days in the month, 360 days in the year, and so on. Yeah, you will see number four uses the European method. So if you don't want to mess with this too much and you just want to leave it as default, just choose zero. Otherwise, you need to figure out what type of investment you have and what type of days basis would be needed for that investment. In this case, we're going to use zero. Now let's go ahead and calculate the answer. So we're going to hit the equal sign and I like to use this sidebar to find my functions. So let's find the accurate function, which is right here. You can double click it or hit insert function. And let's pl plug in the input parameters. So we have issue date, first date, settle date, annual rate, par, frequency, and days basis. You can hit return or hit the check mark. And we get the answer of 38.5555 and so on, which is what we expected. Again, the lump sum is basically the same, but with less parameters. So you would calculate, calculate that basically the same. Of course, you just hit equals, find the function, which is here, 
plug in the parameters, hit enter, and you get your answer. Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about accrued interest, I'd like to suggest two websites, the first being Wikipedia. Just search, and you're not always going to find what you need, but it can be helpful if something is a little bit confusing. And the second website I'd like to suggest is a website called Investopedia, which is focused on investing, education, and financial news. And again, you're not always going to find exactly what you need, but it can be very helpful in explaining things that may be a little bit confusing. Okay? So that's it for the accrued interest function paid periodically and the lump sum accrued interest function. Hope, hopefully that was helpful in some way, shape, or form, and we'll see you in the next video.